All right. So I want to do an analogy real quick. You know what I'm saying? You know, because sometimes people don't understand. All right. I have this. This is this is me, right? This is me. This is heat protectant spray. Do you know what heat protectant spray is for? To protect your hair. To protect the health of your hair. You know what I'm about to do? You know what I'm about to do? You know what I'm about to do? Help you protect your energy, okay? I am that spray. I'm about to help you protect your energy, all right? Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is Lexa Marie with another video. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my welcome to my welcome to my channel. Hey, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my welcome to my welcome to my channel. Hey, welcome to my welcome to my welcome to my channel. Hey, welcome to my welcome to my welcome to my channel. Hey, welcome to my welcome to my Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Lex Marie with another video. Today we're gonna talk about another very important topic for you young ladies um that are subscribed or not subscribed to my channel and that topic is about protecting your energy protecting your energy and not letting people or outside things drain your energy one of the things that inspired me to do this is because i feel like as days pass and you know my channel is starting to grow and my business is starting to grow and I'm starting to develop in my life going into adulthood I'm constantly being thrown negative energy just negative energy and people that are like made to drain your energy and I just feel like there has to be other people out there that feel that and just feel like the outside energy that they're getting isn't positive and I just want uh, to give some tips on how you can protect your own energy and maintain positive energy like I'm trying to do myself but before that make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you do want to see more content like this make sure that you turn on that notification bell because you're you're not gonna know when I post unless you're notified so <laughs> make sure that you have that on when you do decide to subscribe and yeah let's just get straight into the tips so the very first tip and I want to say it's probably the most important and most relevant tip is to avoid drama avoid drama and avoid gossip okay when I'm saying that I'm talking about people I'm talking about just situations that can be avoidable because sometimes people are gossipers some people do it for a living obviously but some people genuinely like to gossip and drag people on purpose and sometimes they do it and you know people support it and stuff like that but you have to understand that you can't feed into that energy because they want you to feed into that energy they want to you know shake the room and shake the room and make you uncomfortable and make you feel negative and basically ruin your day so try not to feed into people that gossip or just any gossip of whatsoever just try to avoid drama if you see that your friends are just the girls or guys that just all they want to do is talk about other people all they want to do is critique other people you know everyone's a critic so if you see that that's going on in your friend group or in the people around that you surround yourself with Try to distance yourself. Try to distance yourself and be around people that are more positive and more encouraging and do positive criticisms instead of things that are more negative and not constructive. The next thing I would recommend is to avoid comparing yourself to other people. I think that, and I said this in my last video talking about confidence, but when we compare ourselves to others and we uh, basically put a, us on a scale on like where we fare into other people sometimes we might look and we realize wow they're here at this age and I'm only here at this age like what's what am I doing wrong or why do they look like this and I look like that or why is their life this way and my life is that way when you put everything on a scale it automatically makes you feel like you're not good enough and I don't think that everyone 
has the same value, but everyone has value. So just because you might not have a Coke shaped body or have a billion dollars by 18, like that doesn't mean you're any less, all right? That doesn't mean that you're any less of a person. You still have value, you still contribute. And you should just try to remain positive in that way and don't let other people's success be what brings you down because again that doesn't that doesn't make sense you guys are on two different you know two different playing fields two different worlds you can't compare you know apples and oranges <laughs> the next thing that i would say which is tip number three and you know it might be easier for some but don't be afraid to spend time alone and when i'm talking about being alone i'm not just saying oh like at the end of the day just have your me time no go out by yourself go get your nails done by yourself do things that you enjoy without having any interruptions and i think that's very important for some people because some people really rely on others to go out and do things and when they don't have those people around it's like they can't function but you know with me again Taurus gang we we go to the beat of our own drum and i have never really severely felt the need to do things that I really want to do with another person if that person doesn't want to do it. So I try not to let other people hold me down in terms of where I want to go or what I want to do. So I do have a lot of me time. You know, not everyone likes SBU, Law & Order, dun dun. But I, that is my time that I spend to myself, have my little popcorn. Not everyone wants to go get their nails done. Not everyone wants to shop. So I kind of do those things by myself and it makes me happy. Like, I make myself happy doing that. So try to find something that you can do in solitude or just by yourself and just hone into it and and savor that moment and try to make it the best as possible because you don't need other people necessarily to give you that positive energy and to protect your own. The next tip, all right, the next tip, and it's hard. Baby, it's hard. It's hard for me, all right? I'm just, I'm letting you know. Think before you react. And this goes into, you know, what I was talking about with avoiding drama. Think before you react, all right? <laughs> I don't want to shed tea, but all I'm going to say is that my initial reactions could be threatening, okay? My additional reactions could hurt someone's feelings. I'm on the dangerous. And I just know that because of how I am. And... It's hard for me, even now, to take a step back and go, this is not a battle I want to fight. Uh, it's above me. Let me, please let me. It's above me, sorry. I'm not my the best car. restaurant is next door. This is not a battle I want to fight. I know where I am, I know where she is, or I know where he is, and I'm not gonna stoop down to that level. I want to remain positive, I have positive energy around me, and I'm not going to react the way they deserve for me to react. Um, but this happens to me all the time and I feel like it's very common, but you know, we just jump into our emotions. We let our emotions take over like it's, you know, uh, a runaway, tr runaway train and we let our emotions dictate reactions or actions that can last a lifetime. And we see it all the time in media. People have one jacked up moment and then next thing you know, that's what they're known for. So we have to think before we react so people don't get us out of our character. I do this and I practice this all the time. You know, sometimes I get trolls on, on, on here and I have to, I have to be so, I have to be so good with, 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 with trying not to drag them. Like I have to be so good because I know they're just doing it to get a reaction out of me and I'm just like, you know, I could say so much about homegirl right now, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know. I always say, I say, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. But it's real, like, you need to really take a step back or even have a friend to just talk through and figure out what to do because if you go off based off of emotion, nine times out of ten, it's going to be not the way you originally wanted to handle it. So just try to take a step back, think before you react, and trust me, it'll save you a lot of drama and unnecessary things that can ruin your energy. All right, the next tip is to let go of things that you cannot control, all right? And for my control freaks out there, this is for you. This is for us. This is for us. 
you know, I listened to Michael Todd. He told me to rip up my list. That has been the hardest thing ever. That has been the hardest thing ever, but it's been the best thing ever for me. Um, when he talked about ripping up your list, I don't know if you guys know Michael Todd, but if you do, you know, Transformation Church, make sure you check it out on YouTube, da 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 Relationship goals, da 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 He basically talks about how ripping up your list will allow you to receive more benefits than you even imagined. And I've always heard the saying that letting go of your expectations leads to less disappointments. So I kind of mixed that too to create this, but just letting go of expectations and things that you have for people or situations will help you look more positively when those situations do follow through or they are successful because you don't have a, a set mind like a set way for it to be but when you do get it you're like wow like this is great and you are able to appreciate it so try not to go into things thinking that you have 100% control because I'm telling you right now y'all like trust me I've been I have been so heartbroken because I have set things that I want certain situations to go like and it ends up not turning out that way so please try to just go into things with an open mind be more optimistic and it'll it'll save you a lot of stress trust me next tip and this you know if 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 I, if you feel like I'm coming for you I probably am but I'm not I'm not but I am <laughs> but stay away from people that drain your energy this should be the most obvious thing but it's not because people stay with their boyfriends people stay with their you know girlfriends partners whatever people stay with their best friend that might be the person making them feel negative all the time and it's like why you know why are we still keeping these people around and so close to us if they're the reason that we have low self-esteem or reason that we always have a pessimistic look on society you need to surround yourself with people that are giving positive energy to you and still protecting their own energy and they're not pushing their negative vibes or negative aura onto you because you can feel it and it does take over you like speaking from experience it does take over if someone is miserable in your friend group in your life you are going to feel miserable as well so try to stay away from people that are constantly saying negative things about themselves constantly saying negative things about others constantly saying negative things about you it's real you need to stay away from those people like the plague okay like coronavirus six feet part six feet social distancing make sure that they're they're six feet away from you because they do not need to be in your life period all right so the last and very very final tip <laughs> oh gosh uh, for people that probably have negative energy this will bother you this will bother you 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 this will bother you okay if you're watching but ignore any opinions that do not enhance your life. Hmm. I, I could go in right now. I can go in, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Just know there is a difference between a person addressing a problem and there's a difference between a person that addresses a problem and gives you a solution. Those are two different people. Those are two different people. There's a difference between critics who have nothing else to do besides sit in front of a camera or sit in front of their computer and talk badly about others because they're insecure about themselves And there's a difference between a person that sees you struggling, sees you might have some hiccups, sees you might, you know, need some help. They call out those things that you may need help with and they give you good solutions and still give you positive encouragement. You need those type of people around, okay? You need to honor those type of type of opinions. These other opinions, these people that just want to talk because they have been given a mouth and a voice box, 
you don't need to listen to their opinions because their opinions don't matter. And I said this again in my confidence video, video but people forget that their opinions don't matter and you probably forget that people's opinions don't matter no one no one what everyone's what anyone says about you they don't know you so try to keep that in your mind that this person is commenting on a book they've never read all right this person is commenting on a movie they've never seen they do not know who you are honey you know i know you bomb i know you you know you cute whatever i can see you <laughs> but they don't know that they obviously don't know that because they're talking about you know lord of the rings when you're harry potter like it's a whole nother thing it's a whole nother entity so try not to listen to opinions that first of all don't make any sense aren't encouraging and they don't enhance you at all they do not help you grow or help you uh reach a different level in your life at all please please for the life of me ignore those opinions because i've seen people get sucked in to what trolls and you know negative people online say about them and it changes them it changes their mood it makes them negative it makes them insecure and you know call it cocky call it whatever you want to call it but <laughs> if you let homegirl behind the computer drag you you know in her bonnet no sis we we can't do that we cannot do that we need to understand and know who we are as people and to know what type of people we need in our life we do not need negative nancy's trying to give us opinions that do not enhance us so please take that final tip into consideration i hope that all of these things you know gave you a new perspective and helped you see different ways to protect your own energy because i'm telling you people are you know the devil is always always ready and always ready to be under you know have you under attack so you need to make sure that those people in your life do not have control over you or these situations that happen in your life do not have control over you because it's hard like i know it's hard you might be having a negative spree where you know you fail a final you fail this you fail that you don't get into this school but you cannot let those things dictate your life and dictate your spirit you cannot let those people dictate your life and dictate those spirits so i hope i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know if you want more positive videos like this more encouraging videos like this for your self-esteem self-love all that good stuff and let me know in the comment section down below if you haven't already make sure that you subscribe and turn on the notification bell i know y'all don't turn on the notification bell and say oh i didn't know you posted a video oh i didn't know you had this well if you had the notification bell on you would know so please make sure that bell is on click 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 and that you like this video so other beautiful people like you can see this as well uh yeah and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye guys Still, I'm still my shoe, I'm giving, 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 I'm gi